right, guys, let's have a little fun. We are going to look at uh, three plays from the Packers win over the Bears that are all related. If you know me and all of you know where these are likely going. So we're going to start here. The first one, this is going to be play action boot incomplete. Oh, somewhere up over here. So we've got 12 personnel at second and two. They're down just outside the low red zone on those 13. It looks like Love is canning the play to something. You got eye formation. You got that wide zone pitch look. And then he throws it. Tries to fit it in to that crosser, just not quite there. All right, we're going to look at a couple things. And we're not going to spend a lot of time on this one because the fun stuff is later. So, I mean, it's, it's what we've seen a thousand times. you got this kind of sail concept here. Passing concept is going to be this. Musgrave is going to cross under as a slicer. It's going to be wide zone look. And so you're going to have kind of this pitch look here. And go over there. Everyone's going to be blocking down. So it looks like the run, like we've seen a thousand times. Actually, that's that one's not going to be there. Musgrave in this one on the run would block that backside. So it looks like the run. Then he's going to boot out of there. Musgrave is going to come out in the flat. Get that. Get the crosser. Looking to hit that middle crosser is typically what you're trying to do. Like I said, we've talked about this before. This is your typical look. And this is the runoff here. You usually don't throw to that, that deep corner. So that's the one to two is what we're looking for. No slammer out here. It's just these two. It's not there. I've talked about this before. We don't need to dwell on this. I don't love this concept in this area because that's one that thrives on space. This guy here, his job is to create the space for the crosser underneath. And it's just you get down here in this area, you're compressed. I don't want to, I don't want to go on and on about it, but well, that, I'll just so I'll leave it there. So he's got Musgraves kind of bending up there. You've got Dobbs up here. Really you're trying to hit that wicks there. I mean, this is one love should really probably just throw away. There's not a whole lot of room to fit that sucker. But he tries to fit it in there anyway. It's not there. But we saw how it looks, right? It looks like wide zone. We're going to look at one more thing here. So it looks like the wide zone. Bomb, 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 bump. And it looks like that until it's not. And we're going to keep an eye on the Bears. Uh, I think it's like these guys over here in terms of what they do. Because if you're used to looking at wide zone, you're used to looking for the boot. Once it starts going, these guys bail. These guys are bailing, bail, bail. They're kind of, uh, he's he's following the crosser here. You got the safety looking over here. These guys are a little lackadaisical over here. And usually when you do this, this PA boot, you fake the run. The running backs then kind of kind of drift out here, kind of hang out in the flat. You've got, that's uh, Deguara, who was in, was that Deguara? Uh, I can't remember who that is. We'll run that back and look. Kind of floating out there in the flat a little bit. Yeah, because they're in I formation. So Deguara is going to kind of drift. There he is. He's kind of drifting. You got uh, Jones there just kind of drifting. So you got these guys kind of out there. Everyone's just kind of hanging out. All right. Keep all that in mind because then we've got, so that was uh first quarter, midway through the first quarter. This is going to be early in the third quarter. Same kind of look at, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's 11 personnel. You've got uh, Aaron Jones back there. So single back and you're going to be looking at the same rough thing, right? You fake it, you come back over, except now you're throwing back on the screen and there goes Aaron Jones rumbling down for a 51 yard gain. Just absolutely beautiful. So again, you're taking advantage of the what you're doing here. You're taking advantage of, of what you saw because you're doing there we go the same thing essentially you were doing before. You've got this fake there, that mesh point. He's gonna boot, except it's not gonna be a full boot. So you got everyone blocking down, right? Everyone blocking down for that. He's gonna kind of fade over here and hang out in the flat as he did before. The difference is going to be, so they're going to run this guy out and then they're going to leak out three linemen to play underneath it. So now you've got, you got vertical stuff here. You got vertical, vertical. You got Aaron Jones. Now there he is. He's like, like he would do anyway, you know, kind of hanging out in the flat, but you now have these three linemen who are leaking out in front of him. You have, in addition to that, you, you also have this guy and we'll run back on him He's doing what's called the robot technique. And so what robot is, talked about before, roll over and back. It's when you see that play action, you notice it's that wide zone play action. Instead of uh, dropping back into a zone, you know they're likely trying to hit you with the crosser. So you turn your back and you look for that crosser. They didn't do that on the last one, but that is a technique um, uh, that defenses will use on this. So now he, right here, has his back turned to it. So instead of just lackadaisical over here, but you've also got... 
So instead of lackadaisical guys over here, you actually have just a guy who is turning the back and running, which it's not bad on him. That's what you want to do in those situations. You're also pairing that with two vertical routes. So instead of just, again, that lackadaisical guys kind of hanging out over there, you've cleared it. This guy, Packers didn't make him do that, but he's doing that anyway. You've got this guy kind of eyes down here a little bit because you still have the boot action. And while that's happening, everything's sitting up here, so you have a ton of room over there. Absolutely beautifully done. We'll watch uh, – let's run it back. We'll watch 49 real quick. So he's coming up on the play action. See that? Or he comes up on the run, and when he sees that play action, he's running back. And Love just flips that sucker up. He catches it. You've got three defenders coming down on this, but you have three guys here. Now you have the two vertical guys on the one guy, so they're just going to kind of beat him up up here, push him back, push him back, push him back. Jones flies down the sideline. We'll look at it from the end zone angle. Beautifully done. Really nice counter to uh, to the play action boot, which is a counter off the wide zone stuff. Let me see this. I like uh, Bakhtiari lets him loose. No holding call there. Love just turns, floats. You've got hat on a hat here. Two hats on one hat up there. Because Tour and Dobbs just kind of give shoving that guy out, giving him the business. I think that's Brisker they've got, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and that was very well done. All right. Now the last one here, you're building it all off the same stuff. Uh, going to be, uh, whatever it was wide at wide zone here, make it look like wide zone. Actually, that's not going to be Tucker craft. It's going to be Musgrave. It's going to be leaked to Musgrave up here. Fumbled snap makes this one a little ugly. Let's run it. And then we will talk about it. So we've got 11 personnel. Actually, this is, uh, is this still, no, this is 12. I'm sorry. It's not refreshing up here. My personnel is not refreshing up here. 12 personnel. I think it's a first and 10. Musgrave just gets loose. There he goes. Could have been better done. Let's, there, we'll do that and refresh that. So it's 12 personnel. All right. So this one, same kind of idea. Again, you're blocking down, you're blocking down, you're blocking down. The difference here is you're going to have, he's going to kind of come out here. No, no, no. It's the other way. My bad. My bad. Blocking, 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 blocking. He's going to come out this way. It looks like the wide zone is going to go in this way. You have Musgrave and Kraft in this little YY wing, uh, hip slot, whatever you want to call it, formation down there. Musgrave is just going to kind of look like he's blocking down, and then he's just going to leak out. That's the name of the name of the play. Leak, Y leak, whatever you want to call it. There he is, Y leak. And so he's going to act like he's blocking down and gets lost because, as we saw, what happens – you boot, and then he's going to turn out of the boot. Now, it's not going to be a full boot because you want to need to launch the sucker. He's going to half boot it, but it gives the defense the same look, right? So they're going to kind of, these linebackers are going to pull up, and then they're like, oh, no, he's booting out the other way. I got to get back and fall under the perceived crosser from this side, right? You want to take that sucker away. So you want to do that. And then while they're all doing that, while they're kind of yo-yoing, you're pulled up, you're pulled back. You've got Musgrave just kind of, he just just sneaks through the wash, man. Like he just kind of just fades on down the line. Again, it kind of, with the, there's a fumbled snap. So we'll see him. Let's run this a little bit. Here we go. He pulls out of this, loses the ball. Ball comes back to him. You see Dylan kind of looking for it. So it throws off the timing a bit. I'm going to, we'll talk about from the back angle, unsung hero to Tucker Craft. Tucker Craft didn't get a lot of run in the game this past week in terms of, uh, you know, impact plays or anything like that. Big play by Tucker Craft. And we're going to see Musgrave here. There he is right in the middle. So he's going to kind of do this little half boot, sets up. And you can watch, if you just watch Musgrave, you can watch these linebackers. All right, they're pulled up on the run. Now it's boot. They don't even get a chance to get out of the boot. But these guys are looking for the crossers. You've got the safeties right there. The safeties coming over because they're looking at that crosser which just leaves all of this room because those linebackers are so pulled up and so preoccupied with the run. They don't even, and with the fumble a little bit, kind of keeps them pulled up there. Uh, even if not for the fumble, you kind of get them caught back trying to fall under a crosser. And Musgrave just, just comes out the other side. Love is able to throw it up to him. Kind of off of off his back foot. In this case, it's better to underthrow than overthrow. If you overthrow, it could be incomplete. If it's underthrow, you still get a catch. You limit your uh, yards after catch a little bit, but you still get the catch. You still allow your guy to make a play as opposed to overthrowing him. Uh, so, so you like to see that uh, again. This could have been this could have been a touchdown, man. This could have been beautiful. 
it was not. You'll still take it. We're going to watch Tucker Craft on this one here. Because, again, he's kind of where, where Musgrave is going to be blocking, you know, doing that kind of faint blocking down and then going out. Craft's got to lock that guy up. And since you got this half boot, Craft uh, has to stay on it for that. So he's got to make sure that Love has enough time and you don't want to hold the guy either. So there's Craft on the end there of this YY wing look, the motion coming across, lock down. He's going to kind of release here. Craft gets him from the side. So he's got his hands on him, no holding there. Keep driving him inside. Drives him all the way back inside. So the 49 here is scraping over the side. This is where Kraft is now. So where Love is now pulling up in this half boot, Musgrave's there. I mean, no one sees him at this point. I wish there was a wider view. I was trying to find one of the crowd at this point. Probably wasn't the broadcast, I guess. The defense is all over here looking for the boot. You've got the one crosser. You've got the safety over here. you got everyone crossing. Everyone's looking over, and you got Musgrave all alone. And then, again, you have Kraft right in the middle, driving his dude to the inside, making sure that Love has the room he needs, pull it off the back foot, go up and get it. If Musgrave is able to stay on his feet, if maybe he is able to judge that a little bit better in the air and catch it over his shoulder, which it was it was, it was floated high and late, so that, that seems unlikely. If he was just able to keep his feet, that would have been like a 41-yard touchdown, as it was, 37-yard gain, four yards short, I believe, they scored on the very next play that a uh, little RPO fade to uh, Dobbs, if I'm not mistaken. So three plays, all playing off the same wide zone run concept, and the play action boot is the main passing concept off of that. And then two really fun counters to that. That really we've not seen a ton of in Green Bay. I think leak we've seen uh, two, maybe three times uh, in the LaFleur era. That uh, running back throwback, I think we've maybe seen once, and it was not particularly well done. So uh, this was uh, just a, a fun little sequence of plays uh, from the Packers, one of the Bears. Hope you all enjoyed this. I will talk to you later.